I'm Elon Musk. I'm the uh, chairman and the product architect of the company. And uh, what, car, what car do you drive yourself? Well, Tesla Roadster, of course. Is that the only car you drive? No, no, I have a, also have a Porsche Turbo. And, uh, That's the family car. And what kind of mileage does that get? It's 20 miles a gallon, so it's actually good as a sports car goes. Mm -hmm. you know? um, but my daily driver is the Tesla Roadster. I have production unit one, and I drive it to, to work every day. I put 2,000 miles on the car. The reason I, I funded Tesla is because I think it's very important that we accelerate uh, the adoption of electric vehicles. Um, and it was not with the idea of just creating a sports car that's very expensive, because that doesn't really change the world. That's not going to make a dent on our energy usage. But the, the sports car is really just an entry point to the marketplace. And from the sports car, we, we'll go to Model 2, Model 3, and, and in each case, with each successive model, we'll increase the, the production volume and decrease the, the price. Um, so, Model 2 is actually going to be a, a four-door, five-passenger luxury sports sedan at about half the price of, the, the, of our sports car. So it'll be around maybe the $59,000 range. And then going to Model 3, uh, we want to try to get a car, an electric car that's uh, around the $30,000 price, price point. So then it's really, can, many people can afford it at that, at that stage. And do you see Tesla Motors as a, as a direct competitor to the large car makers in Detroit and Europe? Yes. You can't see the motor. I mean, I can pop the trunk, but you won't see the motor. So you can put a whole set of golf clubs here. Um, I don't play golf, but uh, you can put them there. And you can also put a, an airline size uh, uh, case in here, maximum airline that's, size that's case. That's what it's designed for. The yeah, it's kind of like a T-shape, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's a pretty decent cargo space for a sports car. Mm -hmm. you know. um, this is the corner of the battery pack right here. What do you think the future will be when it comes to cars? Will it be hydrogen, biofuels, uh, electricity? You give you one guess. Because, <laughs> <laughs> of course, there's a lot of talk about hydrogen. Do you think that will take over in no, the No, hydrogen is stupid. Um, hi hydrogen as a storage mechanism is a terrible storage mechanism. Um, it, it, it takes, it, it's extremely energy inefficient to, to create hydrogen, and then it is, a, it is a lousy means of storing energy. Um, it's volumetrically incredibly inefficient. In the rocket business, it it's makes sense. Um, as an upper stage on a, on a rocket, uh, hydrogen is, is a good, good fuel. It's on. It's on. There isn't anything to make a sound. Really? Um, so. Isn't it um, strange to compete with uh, car companies that have large resources when it comes to developing new automobiles? If you say, say GM or, or Ford, they have thousands and thousands of engineers mm -hmm. who can work on fuel efficiency and other means to... So where's their electric car? Well, that's my question. Where is their electric car? Um, big companies are not very good at um, revolutionary innovation. Um, they, they're okay when it comes to incremental, you know, things here and there, but they have a real problem with, uh, you know, taking the next leap forward. But somebody needs to lead the way, a smaller company needs to lead the way. And why is it, do you think, that these large companies who, on a first look, have much more resources and, and, and experience in a certain market? market? Well, we have to appreciate, what, what is really the constraint? Is the constraint a quantity of resources? It's not the, it's not the quantity of resources. It's uh, it, it's, do they have the, the quality of, is there a small, very talented, focused, dedicated team um, that's willing to take the risks and, and make something happen? That's the scarce commodity, not money. The world is awash in money. Alright, are you holding on? Yeah, I'm holding on. 